Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem find the closest number. So here we are given an array and an element e and you need to find the closest number. What needs to be understood in this apart from problem statement is that they all are standing in a circle. They all are standing in a circle. Okay. So if I talk about this person, then the closest person with this person in terms of distance is this. And if I add one more person here, if I add just one more person here, which is which is standing here, then again the closest person that is from this red one is this. So one thing to understand here is that the closest number can be less than that number or more than that number because distance is never negative. I can look at that side also. I can look at this side also. Whosoever is closest, that would be the person which is my closest number. Now let us read and understand this problem. So if I see up this problem, the very second sample test case, which is a larger one, and would help us to comprehend more of this is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 9. So if I am given the number 4, then the closest number, both, if I just have 3, if I have 4 and 5, both are, both have a distance of how much? Both have a distance of something as 1, 1. Then if both have a distance 1, then the number with a higher value would be selected. Remember this. We need this. So we can say that if we have the same distance, then we give the priority to the higher value. This is to be understood. The very next thing which needs to be understood is that if let's say this is not present, then the diff then in if 4 is present, then this number has a distance of 2, this number has a distance of 1. Then if a number if these all are the, were the elements, the answer would have been 5. And it can be the other way around too. If we have something like closer to the value 3, then this has a distance of 1, this has a distance of 2, now 2 would be my answer. So the number can be there on both. So if the distance is same, the higher value would be prioritized. If the distance is not same, then less distance is then we select the element with the minimum. So how do we solve this problem? The very basic idea is to iterate over all the numbers and see the difference between them. And that would take a linear approach that is big of n like we would be processing each element once. So now a very small thing that needs to be noticed is that what are we trying to do? We are given in like this is on bold we are given a sorted array and the elements are static like the elements are not changed like there are not said that after one operation this element would become that or this the very third observation is that we need to find something find a close and find something so if we have a sorted array, if we have a sorted array, the elements are fixed and we need to find something. And the very first thing that should pop in your mind is something known as binary search. But Siddharth, as far as I know, binary search is used to search a particular element. How can we find close or something? We can do that. Let me show you how. So, if we have the same array, if we have the same array, that is, we have something like 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 9. Let me remove this element. That would make more sense. And then we would add that also. So now we have only 6 elements here. And we want to find the closest value for the number 4. Let's have the indexing 2, 
So let's enumerate this one, two, three, four, five. So as of now, let's just try to search the value for. So we have the low here. So I would be writing just ten for simplification. So we have the low here and the high here. So mid would be pointing to what? Zero plus five divided by two. That is two point five. So taking the integer value would be two only. So we would be going and seeing at the value five. So now we saw a value five, which is greater than what we were trying to find. So as it is greater, and we want to find closest, we would just save that answer. Like we would just save that answer. Great. Like we would just save that answer. Let's say greater, and here it is lesser. We would just save the result five. Simply save the result. Now we found a greater value than four. So let's say four is here. And we found a greater value, and we want to go close. So we would squeeze in at this side. Let's say what I meant to say is, let's say this is four, and we are at a value of nine, and we want to we found we want to find the closest value. This is four, so we have four, and here we have nine. So we found out nine, like we have nine, and we want to get close to four. So we need to close in. On that side to get close to four, and this value is greater. So we need to go on the left hand side. So left hand side, if this is mid, and we want to go on the left hand side, and we would save the answer as a potential answer, and we would make this go to high, go to this side. That is left hand side. Now we have zero and one. Zero plus one divided by two is equals to is equals to zero. Integer part of it. So now we would see. What is the value? So we saw that this value is one, which is less than what we were trying to find. We would first save the answer as one, and now again the same idea. Here now this side is four, and we got one. So we should close in on that side. We should close in on that side. We would should move on the right hand side. So what we would do is here it was the mid that was pointing to. So if we want to close in on the right hand side, L would be going from here to here. Now, again, low plus high one plus one divided by two is equals to one. So now we would see what is the value two. So again, we found a lesser value than two. So we would save the result and then try to squeeze in more because we want to go to the right hand side. Again, we found a lesser value. We want to go to the right hand side. We would now mid is pointing here. Now L. Would be pointing to something like this side, mid plus one. But if you observe here, that L goes here, and this loop ends because no more low is less than equal to high. Loop ends, and we have the two close values that we wanted. So by just doing one binary search, what we would do is, if we get a greater value, we would save the result, and then try to squeeze in more. If we get a greater value, save the result, squeeze in more. So by squeezing, 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 we get the closest bigger value. And if we get a lesser value, we would save that result, squeeze in more. Lesser value, less lesser value, save the result, squeeze in more. So if you observe, basically we are trying, we are just this whole point, this low and high would be cluttering around that value. And the last point where they would stand would be the closest value of that element. This is how we would get low and high. We would compare the difference, distance. If the distance is same, we would get the higher value. If the distance is less, we would get the minimum. We would select the element with the minimum distance. Again, I am telling you the same thing again here. Like again, there are many different implementations of binary search that we use. And I use the binary search implementation of Vivek Gupta for the past three or four years in DSA, and he has used it for many years. That is why I rely on this a lot. So this is simple to be honest. So this is my binary search implementation again. So now we initialize the low value and high value to two extreme. Then we initialize answer two's index as the largest value and answer one's index as the lowest value. You can initialize it to garbage value wise, any garbage value, because at the end of the day they both would squeeze. Okay, 
I took out the mid in the same manner, low plus high divided by two, and assigning it to an integer would just take out that integer value of it. So if that value is equal to what we were trying to find, then we would return that value. Why? Because it has the minimum distance that is zero. If we want to find the closest value to two and we found out two, then that has the minimum distance from it. No? Like if I want to find a person who is closest to me, and I found myself, so I would be closest to me. In every term, comparison to any other people I know, why? Because I know myself to that depth, like no one else knows. And the basic, if I talk about the basic mathematical idea of it, the difference between x and x is zero, and no one can ever surpass. So we can't find any better value. That is why we do this. So if we find that value, we return that. If we find a lesser value, we save that to answer one, and we try to squeeze in. Like we try to go to the right hand side. That is, if L and H are there, and we want to go to the right hand side, we make L go to this side. That is mid plus one. L go to mid plus one. Again, if we find a greater value, we want to go to lesser values to squeeze in. So, if we want to go to the left hand side, we take L low and high. We just make it go on this side. Just do your hands like this while you are implementing, and after. Do solving five or ten problems of binary search, you would you don't need to do your hands like this to remind yourself. Don't need to remember. Like you just need to find out. I need to go to right. I need to go to right means what? Like this. So low would be there. So then after a certain point of time, you don't need to do this drill. It would come by your intuition. So then we just check if the first value has the less distance, we return the first value. If the second value has less distance, we say we return the second value. If no one else, no one has the less distance, we return the maximum value out of that. That's the answer. I hope I made sense. If you liked up this video and you think that it should be justified enough, then at least comment one in the chat so that one in the comment so that the reach of this video could be increased and this work could be justified. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.